Well, we talked about the first one. Let's talk about the second one. Too Fast, Too Furious. So, yeah, second one in the Fast and Furious franchise. Um, yeah, Too Fast, Too Furious was released by Universal on June 6, 2003. And it stars Paul Walker, Tyrese Gibson, Eva Mendez, a couple other people from the first one. And a couple of new faces, like Ludacris, I think his name is. Not rapper, dude. Anyways, um, yeah, it was produced by Neil H. Mortz. Uh, written by Michael Brandt and Derek Haas. And directed by John Singleton, who is done, has a good little track record of, like, Boys in the Hood, uh, Poetic Justice, Shaft, the 2000 remake, Four Brothers, to name a few. Uh, it had a budget of $76 million, and it made over $236.3 million. That was basically almost a rehash of the first one. Um, basically, Paul Walker is no longer a cop in this one. He uh, was fired from the force, but then they call him back because uh, there's an evil drug lord dealing with the uh, people in the racing, underground racing scene in, I think, L.A., and... Um, yeah, so basically they call him in, try to get him to help out with this case. And um, it's almost like a buddy cop film. Um, so Paul Walker calls upon the help of Tyrese, who's the guy who screwed over in the first one. And uh, Tyrese is still under house arrest. And basically they offer him like immunity and stuff like that if they help him out. And it's basically a lot of bantering and stuff like that. A lot of street racing and stuff and showing off to girls and stuff. Your typical what you'd expect from these type of films. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good action scenes in this though. There's uh, some pretty funny like torture little scenes and stuff. Um, it's very cliche to say now. But uh, yeah, early 2000s this was all the hype though. It is a lot more dumb <laughs> and silly than the first one and uh but that one it, this one you can tell has a little more heart put into it they do do quite a few street street races in this which is what i expect from fast and the furious with souped up cars and nice looking cool looking cars and um yeah so i expect that from this film but uh they did quite a bit and it kind of got a little bit boring after a while but uh yeah Especially when you can tell someone's going to win. But uh, near the end, there's a good little twist and stuff. You know, with some one of the good, bigger action sequences where a car jumps off and basically crashes into a boat and stuff. It's pretty cool. And that, and that Which I like that. This one was just a straightforward race. Pointless little desert races. This one has races through the cities and stuff like that. And has some pretty cool ones. Some of the effects are a little dated, though. So the CG that they made to make them look like they're going faster. You can kind of tell it looks sort of like a cartoony Roadrunner show. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Overall, though, this film is... I like this one better just because how cheesy and stupid it is. Um, it knows it's not taking itself too seriously and stuff. Unlike the first one. And, uh, yeah. It's still... A decent film even though most of the it's pretty basic story and that basically they just want to show up street racing cool cars and stuff like that and that's what they did in this it's also way more colorful than the first one the first one was dark and like happened at night most of the time this one they race through the day all the time and stuff like that so you get a lot more cool colors and cars pop a little bit more and stuff like that so I like that aspect of it. The acting, I find hit and miss in this, though. It's not the greatest. Um, yeah. I don't know why people in these think these big budget films are awesome and stuff like that. Like, half of it. Like, I see some some of the acting in this is t even worse than some of the sci-fi channel B-movies I talk about and stuff like that. So, yeah. Be prepared for some of, like, not the best acting in the world and stuff. And the funniest thing is, uh, besides Tyrese, everyone in here is in, stars in B-movies after this. <laughs> so, yeah. but And Paul Walker returns, I think, in another one. But one or two or so. And rest in peace to him. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, you know, Too Fast, Too Furious was a decent action movie. A good little buddy cop sort of scenario. And some amusing scenes in it. I still am not a huge fan of this series, but this one and the next one I find are the best ones in the series to talk about. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do at least the first four. So, yeah. But uh, Too Fast, Too Furious is an amusing, fun little ride. It is cheesy and silly for the most part. But it looks cool and it has some decent... 
action and stuff like that to keep you entertained. Now, it's not like a Michael Bay film where it's all constant action, no story, though. They actually try to put a little bit more story, a little more emphasis on the characters, which kind of helped it out a bit more, too, which I think that's why this one's better than the first one. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, so Too Fast, Too Furious. I'm going to give this one a 3.5 out of 5. I liked it a little bit more than the first one, which is rare. And, uh, yeah, going into the third one, I think uh, this one's probably, like, probably the second best in the series, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people hate on this because it's too quirky and cheesy and stuff and uh, a little ridiculous in some scenes. But uh, I just find it's an amusing time, so... Yeah, Too Fast, Too Furious is interesting. There's chili down below if you forgot about this film, which I'm not surprised if you did. Um, yeah, uh, so if you want to revisit it or if you haven't seen it and you want to check it out, the is linked down below. Also, my Instagram is always linked down below. I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So right now I'm doing the Fast and Furious films. So it's kind of basically, you probably guess what the next one's going to be. But for future when I decide to shift gears and review other things and stuff like that, I always post clips of films that I'm going to review on the future. For, uh, oh, my story first. Also, I had the title and the hashtag just for fun, so you can either try to find or try to guess what I'm trying to do. do. Or if you're just curious and want to see what I'm going to be talking about next, follow me on Instagram. Also, I also put the subgenre of film in uh, the video as well, just so in case it's something you're not interested in or something or some people are sensitive to something or some excuse like that uh there's always so then you can know that uh it might not be for you or whatnot anyways um yeah make sure you like this video share it if you really want to comment down below your opinions if you've seen it did you like it as much as i did do you find it are you one of the ones that find it really too quirky and cheesy i love to hear your opinions so make sure you comment them down below also make sure you uh comment any other Films I want to hear my opinions on down below as well. Uh, comment those. Uh, I'll try my hardest to get to them as soon as I can. Do you want me to review the whole series? Let me know and hear my opinions on each one. Uh, I'll be glad to do that if I can find them all. And uh, yeah, so make sure you comment down, comment your other films for me to review down below as well. Also, make sure you subscribe because usually you never know what I'm going to talk about next. But at least for the next two. We'll see how I feel about after sitting through four of these movies, but for now, the next two reviews will probably be the sequels to this, but you never know. My mind changes all the time, but till the next review, see you then.